What's up guys and welcome to Darius Dojo. Today I will be reviewing set 70666, The Golden Dragon. The number is very fitting, as I guess you could say the Overlord is very similar to the Devil. Both evil and sort of the big evil guy, if that makes sense. But now let's swoosh the box away and we can look at the set. The first thing we'll look at is the build. The sort of not very interesting build, but the build nonetheless. Like I like the set and I like the dragon, but there's one thing I don't like about this, which is that it just doesn't like standing up. You have to put it in an awkward position to actually make it stand up. But I guess we'll just look at or review it anyway. We have the wings, which like, both of these pieces have stickers on, it's the same on both wings. You have a kimono sword that not kimono, is it kimono? I don't know. Not a kimono. Katana. You have these sort of like bigger sword pieces. Now, this, the wings are basically gold, grey, grey fat bit at least, gold, green and black. Interesting colour scheme. As I said, same on both wings. This is, they got cool like sort of claws there. Now we'll look at the head. It's not the most well it's a cool piece, but two cool pieces, but I'm not really the biggest fan of I prefer brick built heads, so more in detail, but if they had brick built it'd probably be a bit more expensive or quite a bit more expensive, there could be a lot more pieces. This is a flick fire missile, but I'm not going to fire it up as I'm able to find the stud. Now we look at the feet, which is the problem with the set. They have an like articulation here, but the thing is you have to sort of position it awkwardly because they're not very stable. Or at least not very stable for holding it up. Probably because of this bit here, but I'm not entirely sure. But that's the feet, quite, the legs, quite cool look, but it's not good at standing up. Here's the tail, sort of a bit of a weird build, but you have, it goes this way, it goes this way, it goes round, not a tail would go round, but we have the cool swords here, again, there are quite a lot of them in the set. And then the last bit I will show you from this, is on top, it's like where Lloyd sits. This has two stickers here, one on each side, they're sort of annoying to put on, but it's basically just a flag. Ooh, basically the minifigure goes there. Now, talking about minifigures, that's what I'll show you next. So the minifigures are all very cool. The least interesting is probably the Stone Army Scout. As it's just sort of small and quite similar to the original, which I have the original Stone Army Scout. But that's like cool new use of this head piece, head hat piece. Wrong H. Then the, probably the second coolest minifigure only by quite a small bit, is Golden Lloyd. I don't have the original, but this one is just like obviously awesome. I love this new hair, head, pat, uh, pound, uh, I don't know what it is, helmet piece, hood, whatever you want to call it. This is an like angry face, and this is like a very angry face. So it's like, you're my dad? What? You're my dad? It's really cool hair, hey, like, can't speak properly, I can't speak properly, but really cool printing all over the mini figure. The minifigures are probably the main reason I got this set. I just think they are the main reason I got this set. For, I chose this one for my birthday. The coolest minifigure, by only a small bit, is the Overlord. If you look at it, it's really cool, like, sort of see-through, transparent, or translucent, more of a really cool-looking evil head. The weapon's not the most interesting, but you can see it's got purple hands. I don't really think I've seen purple well, actually, I actually have seen purple hands before. But it's like really suits minifigure. I love the use of this piece. First time I'm actually getting this one. It purples and basically dark. Basically black and purple with a bit of gold there. If you want to see the torso print. That's quite cool. And this is this one. Which is awesome. So we'll go to the conclusion. Or sort of conclusion. So this set I'd probably give it a. I'm going to, how I rate things going to be a 5 for the minifigures out of 5, but it's only going to be a 3 out of 5 
the build, which makes it 8 out of 10, which is still good, but it's mainly the build that lets it down. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, goodbye. You are now exiting Darius Dojo. Toodles.